Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're going to be talking about Vegas Pro and how to edit high def video like 4K video without taxing your computer too much. Uh, and so the problem a lot of people run into is when you're working with video, it's a lot of heavy lifting for a computer to work with high def video, but no one wants to see standard def video nowadays. Everybody's phone display and YouTube display, however they're watching anything, can do usually some sort of high def, uh, whether it be 720p for an iPhone, uh, the older ones, uh, or whether it be 1080p, 4K, 2K, whatever. That's a lot of pixels. And um, you might not be aware of that, but when you're doing video footage, especially from like a, a high def video camera, it's not the compressed streamable format that everybody's watching. You're using the raw formats, which is important and good, but usually can bog down your computer. And so today in Vegas Pro, uh, and I've got a Movie Studios version of this too, but uh, you can watch either and it's probably going to be the same. What, what we do, there's several different things you can do uh, to help your computer do some of the heavy lifting. So uh, we're going to be talking about what to do if your computer is weak and you really need some super extra help, what to do uh, if you just need a little extra help on one part. So we're going to talk about a lot of things, so don't click away if you don't think uh, I'm going to talk about how to help you if you have a crappy computer. Because the first thing I'm going to tell you is the best thing to do is not have a crappy computer. Uh, I would recommend if you're, if you're doing uh, any kind of high-def video editing to at least have. Now, Vegas... Vegas is great. Vegas runs, both movie studios and Vegas run on uh, any computer. It runs really seamlessly on any computer. But the editing video might not. If you're having crashing problems a lot, there's a chance that crashing problem is related to your computer just isn't strong enough to edit high, uh, high def video. My computer's not even really strong enough to edit 4K video that well. Uh, really at all. Uh, so I got a, a Ryzen um, 1400 in this computer. I've got a 1600 in the mail, yay, but that's only four cores and eight threads. If you're not a PC person, that's all right. You don't have to be. Just know you need kind of a mid-tier before you can expect any kind of good results, a mid-tier processor before you do any kind of high-def video editing. Uh, if you're on an i3, it's going to be rough. An i5, it's going to be better. If you're on uh, Ryzen 1400 or 1600 or 2600 or you kind of those mid-tier um, uh, processors, you're going to do all right. If you have a gaming computer, that tends to be all uh, good uh, for video editing, but it's a little flip-flop. Gaming computers have giant GPUs and they have uh, medium-sized CPUs. Uh, if you have a super nice gaming computer, you might have a giant both. Uh, it's whatever, but but the with video editing, it's more important to have a big CPU and a medium-sized graphics card. Now, graphics are still important. It's was it was called CUDA cores, but that's enough for the computer lesson. If you don't have a crap, if you already have a crappy computer, it may not be in the budget to buy a new one. So here's some things you can do to edit. So and 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 even my computer's got eight gigs of RAM and a Ryzen 1400, and it's got a RX 580 inside of it and it struggles with 4k video but it plays VR games right it's a strong computer but it's still 4k video is not up its alley and so one thing you can do this video this is a switch unboxing video I did for our main channel tech dive and uh, and is I filmed it in 4k actually I filmed it uh, um, in like the highest setting our camera can go and that uh, is rough 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 for my computer to edit normally so one thing I can do is I can usually go to draft and go to auto and look at that it makes it look like garbage but yet I can still edit the video because it still plays I'm gonna mute this so you don't have to hear me ramble so it still plays smoothly uh, and it actually helps it play smoothly so if you're trying to time edits and things like that that's very important for it to continue to play smoothly uh, it'll look pretty in the final render don't worry uh, that just helps you decompose it so you can see it going. Now, you might be saying, oh, I've done that. I've moved it to draft and I'm still having issues. Um, well, okay, that's fine too. Here's another option you can do. Go to Options, Preferences, Video, and then there's something called the Dynamic RAM Preview Max. It's set to 200 uh, out of the box. 
you can up this a little bit and that will give your computer a little more room to show you the video preview to, to try and buffer it and to show it to you um, as you're doing it now it's not recommended to just go to your max available right this is like all my RAM besides what's needed to run my operating system and so that's a bad right that's not what you want to do in fact Vegas doesn't run well when you really up this number Vegas will warn you when you do it that it will take a RAM away from other processes so if you're gonna up it up it a little at a time if you up it a lot like if you up this thing another hundred or two hundred you might be like I got 16 gigs of RAM will be fine but it doesn't work that way for whatever reason just upping this a ton will actually cause more crashing than anything so be very careful just a small Small little up of your max available uh, RAM in your dynamic preview and you might notice a significant difference uh, in, in how much power you get. Another thing that can really help is turning on your GPU acceleration. If you have any kind of graphics processing, go ahead and turn this on if it's off. Um, and that will help if you've got a gaming computer oh that'll help you a ton because you're gonna have a lot of graphics capability but a lot of modern computers now uh, like an i5 just has a, a graphical uh, like a you know kind of a it's not an APU it's what the, it, Intel calls the Intel integrated graphics but that that chip has in some offloading that it can do on graphics that if you turn this on you're gonna see some better performance out of your computer for Vegas as, as a whole especially when you're dealing with higher res video alright so let's say that these actually I've already done that so let's exit that uh, let's say that these don't help you yet you're still struggling you've done all this and you're still struggling there's one more thing you can do you can go over here to your project media so what you can do is click on your media right click it and hit create video proxy and it's grayed out for me because I've already done it for this one but if you hit select that it'll start creating a video proxy and it'll make a loading bar down here now your loading bar uh, will take a while because if you have a crappy computer and you have an even uh, higher res video then it's just going to take some time to to create that proxy for it but what will happen is you'll be able to watch your video playback a lot smoother and a lot more real time it's not gonna fix every single problem again you're editing high def video on a computer that might not be well equipped to handle high def video but most people it's not in their budget to just grab a high def video comp uh, editing computer unless it's your job to edit high def video then usually you have some sort of a high def video editing computer that rocks um, but if you're not if you don't have that luxury these are things you can do to still help you produce that high def video. Thanks for watching. This has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I have a Patreon now because uh, I'm doing this full time. Well, I'm a full time freelancer, so not necessarily YouTube full time, but I'm going to be doing a lot more YouTube than I have been doing. So if you want to come help me out so I can make more tutorials like this one, I would appreciate your help. There'll be a link below if you want to subscribe to see more videos. I appreciate that. Whatever you end up doing, Thanks for watching. We have our main channel where we do tech reviews and a gaming channel where we play games. So whatever you want to check out, check that out. Thanks again. See you next time.